Welcome back, it's Melanie of She Shed Scrapper. So today I am back with a one page layout using the Chasing Adventures collection from Jen Hadfield. This is an old collection. Um, but I <laughs> mentioned in my last video, I had my cousin, aunt, and my mom over for a craft day over Christmas break. And um, my aunt brought this collection over with her to use. Um, and I had the papers, but I didn't have embellishments to go with it. And lucky for me, she had double the embellishments, double the stickers, and I was able to weasel some away from her. So I decided to use it for a layout. I made a mistake using this floral paper. I meant to gut it for a border, but instead I took an inch off of one side. So I had to figure out how to fix it. So I cut four one inch strips and taped them together. So that was my mistake. Um, but I then wanted to incorporate this, I don't know, fuchsia paper. It's just such a different maybe uh, color scheme than I'm used to with that fuchsia, that bright, it almost looks like a pink on here, but um, I don't know. I'm not really a pink person, but I loved this paper and this paper with that floral paper. So I decided to add just a small strip of that um, fuchsia paper as a barrier between the floral and the white paper. Sorry, I bonked the camera with my head, I think. So I apologize for that. It sits really close and if I stand up or whatever, or move around, I, yeah, I think I've done it a couple of times. So I have two photos here I am documenting. I cut them down to four by four. And what they are, there's nothing really exciting. It's just the temperature um, in two different vehicles. So I went to Florida in May, maybe two years ago, um, to visit my sister. And while I was gone, we had a, a heat wave at home. So my husband sent me the temperature in his car, which is on the right hand side. And I want to say it was like 102, 105. So I was in my sister's car and down in Florida, it was 84. So <laughs> I just kind of figured it was just kind of funny that I left Michigan to get warm and it ended up being warmer at home, almost unbearable at home. So I guess it was still some relief in in going to Florida. Uh, but I just thought it was kind of funny. So I did save both of these photos to document. And I will have a pretty large space to um, journal on this layout. So again, just wanted to really utilize those two papers. And so I... Um, kind of did a larger border around my photos with that fuchsia paper and then I cut strips of the floral paper so it looks like it's going down the page and then I wasn't sure what I wanted for a title but I have this pack of pink fresh titles I think it's like a spring collection and I found this um piece of ephemera, the title that says unbelievable. And so I thought that was just perfect. So that's going to end up being my title. I am popping my photos up on some foam tape. And then I also ended up with some white alphas. You can see I added FL for Florida and MI for Michigan on top of the photos um, to kind of show, I guess, which photo is from which state. Um, so lucky for me, again, I got some of the ephemera from my aunt. I love the floral clusters. I went ahead before the, I started recording and set aside some of the, um, embellishments that I thought I might want to use that kind of went with the color scheme and whatnot. And so that is what you see kind of on the right hand side there. I did use a gold flower as kind of, a anchor almost I guess you could say for my title at the top and then larger cluster of flowers on the bottom left with the flamingo um, and then kind of wanted to do something on the right as well and just kind of make that triangle right 
around my photos. So I added another floral cluster and then these gold sunglasses. I just thought that was really cute and brought gold in somewhere else on the layout as well. So really this layout came together really quickly. Um, I love how I love when layouts come together so easily. Um, so I I am adding journaling strips from close to my heart down at the bottom for the journaling. I will link those down below because I think they are great. I love um, that the, you know, the width is already figured out for you and you can decide how long you want the journaling. Um, and they do come, there's two different widths that come with those stickers. I went into my stash to find some flares from Scrap and Happy Studio. And I was able to, I think I add a couple of them, maybe three of them actually. I have a, quite a few mini flares, which I am loving from Scrap and Happy Studio. And the colors of these worked out really nicely. So I have like a layered uh, floral sticker. Um that I added to the bottom of my journaling and then added a flare there. I added a flare to the cluster on the left. And then I think, I think that's it. But then I hesitated with that flamingo um, because that side of the page is Michigan. <laughs> and obviously we don't have flamingos, but I did like how that extended that cluster up um and so i did add that flamingo to that cluster as well um and like how they're kind of looking in towards the photos so that is going to finish off this layout i don't believe any of this is available but i will look for you and if it is i will link it down below but i hope you guys enjoyed and we will see you next time bye guys